फर्स्ट स्मॉल पीस ऑफ ट्रिव्या दैट रंग दे बसंती के एज आई वॉज ऑल्सो शेयरिंग टू रिहर्सल्स और रीडिंग्स हुए थे वो इसी कमरे में हुए थे गाइस मेरे को ऐसा नहीं लगता अगर आपको कि इंडिया में अगर सक्सेशन बनेगा तो अर्जुन कैन बी अ वेरी गुड कैंडल रॉय वाओ आई लव रिचर्ड लिंकलेटर एज अ डायरेक्टर या आई थिंक राइट फ्रॉम हिज हिज फर्स्ट फिल्म व्हिच इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक इट्स अ हैंडीकैम स्टूडेंट फिल्म कोलैक एंड देन हिज अर्लियर एनिमेटेड फिल्म्स वेकिंग लाइफ स्कैनर डार्कली आई वाज बॉयहुड आई थिंक इज वन ऑफ माय ऑल टाइम फेवरेट्स जब कोई ऐसी बात करता है ना जो मेरी फेवरेट लाइक इंस्पिरेशन भी होती है तो मेरे को खोसला खोसला का डायलॉग याद आता है एक दिन बैठना है सानी साहब आपके साथ यार भाई बैठता है यार एक दिन ये तो या हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो अबाउट चलचित्र टॉक्स लवली सो Oh there is a cat beautiful i was just i was completely distracted <laughs> <laughs> Hi Arjun how are you welcome to Chalchitra Talks I'm good thank you thank you for having me and thank you everyone for being here i was not expecting so many people and uh, yeah it's lovely to be here Arjun so like i told you my channel is all about recommendations so today at IFP i'm going to take a lot of recommendations from you Yeah I'm a little nervous to be honest as I was sharing with uh, Webhav before this my brother who watches all his talks when he found out ki main inke sath talk kar raha hu he was like padhai karke jana he actually he scared me so uh, yeah let's see so uh, main guys aap logo ko ek recommendation dena chahta hu uh, aap logo ne made in heaven to dekha hi hoga but like <laughs> मैं आपको एक अर्जुन के इंडी शो की रिकमेंडेशन देता हूँ सो एम टी वी पे देर वॉज दिस शो कॉल ब्रिंग ऑन दी नाइट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गाइज नो अबाउट इट दिस इज वन ऑफ द कूलेस्ट थिंग्स गाइज सब नोट्स में लिख लो चलचित्र टॉक्स देख रहे हो तो नोट्स बनाना जरूर या गाइज इट्स ऑन यूट्यूब फॉर फ्री सो जस्ट चेक इट आउट इट आपने सोचा था हम बात करेंगे इसके बारे में नहीं नहीं सोचा था बट आई एम नॉट सरप्राइज बिकॉज इट वॉज आई मीन दैट शो हैज डिवेलप लाइक अ कल्ट काइंड ऑफ फॉलोइंग I think वो थोड़ा actually it was made before its time uh, in the in 2012 yeah. and उस टाइम पर Netflix Amazon कुछ था नहीं it all came two years later yeah. so that show had trouble finding a home but uh, it was the first of its kind the first ten episode series I think that India made yeah so Arjun मुझे आप एक बात बताओ what is your first movie watching memory first movie watching memory would be i think the the 80s amitabh bachchan movies nice. you know um satya pe satta uh, uh kars um yeah i i i grew up in old delhi in civil lines to main pura sirf matlab hindi films par hi bada hua mostly until the age of 10 or so i think Uh, I mean, before that we used to watch like the the big blockbuster action movies, Commando or ये वो, you know. But mostly it was just Hindi films. Amar Akbar, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, yeah. और ये जो आप movies बता रहे हो, ये आपने theatre में देखी थी और do you also know of this tool called VCR? VCR में कुछ देखा था आपने? हाँ, VCR पर ही तो देखते थे हम. Yeah. वहाँ library से लाला कर. My first theatre memory might be. लाइक like, मैंने प्यार किया पॉसिबली या दैट आई कैन रिमेंबर बट ऑनेस्टली थिएटर में मैंने और भी बहुत अजीब अजीब फिल्म्स भी देखी हैं बिकॉज डेली में एक थिएटर होता था ग्रैंड ले न्यू फ्रेंड्स कॉलोनी में माई फादर वे ही यूज टू वर्क वॉज राइट नेक्स्ट टू दिस सिनेमा तो हम वी यूज टू ऑफ जस्ट गो देर एंड वॉच वट एवर वॉज प्लेइंग यू नो तो इवन फिल्म लाइक सूरमा भोपाली एंड ऑल इफ यू नो या 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 सूरमा भोपाली या या हुआ देर वॉज जगदीप इन इट और दादा कोंड के वन ऑफ यू नो दैट 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 वाइब सो मैंने आई रियली लाइक कंज्यूम्ड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हिंदी सिनेमा ग्रोइंग अप या एंड वॉट्स योर रिलेशनशिप विद वर्ल्ड सिनेमा uh not that much to be very honest i only uh, started getting familiar with it like after i moved to bombay uh, you know 20 years ago started working as an ad hmm. before that to uh, hindi filmy mostly uh, i mean hindi films and the popular english films is what used to i used to watch yeah got it 
अभी मेरे को वैष्णव हमारी टीम में एंड वैष्णव लाइक टुक मी साइड एंड इज लाइक वैभव अर्जुन हैज गॉन टू लीस्ट आस वर्क स्कूल तो तब उनसे बात करनी चाहिए मेथड एक्टिंग की ओके एंड यू नो लाइक आई आज दिस टू अ लॉट ऑफ एक्टर्स की देर आर देर इज अ स्कूल ऑफ थॉट की द पीपल हु डोंट बिलीव इन लाइक रिमेंबरिंग देअर पास्ट मेमोरीज टू फील इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट जिससे उनकी एक्टिंग अच्छी निकले बहुत सारे फिल्म मेकर्स बोलते हैं कि भाई ये मत करो बट देर आर सो मेनी पीपल लाइक लीज टास बर्ग स्टेल एडल हु लाइक एम्फेसाइज ऑन द फैक्ट दैट हाउ यू नीड टू रिमेंबर अ पास्ट रोमैटिक इंसिडेंट टू ब्रिंग इन योर बेस्ट एक्टिंग सो आर यू फ्रॉम दैट स्कूल ऑफ थॉट आई थिंक सो आई थिंक सो आई या आई बिलीव आई थिंक यू नो first of all i believe that um, experience makes a good actor is what i feel the more you've been through in your life or you know we all feel emotions every day but if you have been able to retain those somehow to exploit them when you need them uh, yeah i'm definitely from that school and in most of my work uh, particularly when i have to do something deeply emotional um it's always coming from a past memory hmm yeah. so iske counter argument ye hoti hai ki when you think of a past inst- incident like to act in the present moment so ek film maker hai jo mere ko bahut pasand hai elia kazan wo bolte hain ki you are basically sleep walking it's not true acting to hmm. method acting ka counter ye hota hai ki yaar tum matlab itne competent nahi ho hmm. ki aap present moment se cheeze एब्जॉर्ब करके अच्छी एक्टिंग नहीं कर पा रहे सो आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ समन हु लाइक फंक्शन ऑन मेथड एक्टिंग थिंग्स अबाउट दैट या आई वुड से दैट यू प्रोबेबली राइट इट्स नॉट ट्रू एक्टिंग इट्स जस्ट बींग ट्रू इट्स इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली आई मीन आई एम एक्टिंग इन द सेंस आई एम अवेयर ऑफ द टेक्निकलिटीज ऑन सेट वेन आई एम डूइंग समथिंग लाइक दैट बट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विथ यू आई एम जस्ट लाइक I'm in it, man. I don't, uh, you know, मैं ये भी काफी बोलता हूँ. No offense to my audience, but uh, I don't actually work for my audience. I, to me, acting is uh, first and foremost a cathartic experience for me. That's the way I approach it, you know. And you know, uh, Dhruv Sagal, guys, have you seen Little Things? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So. Uh, When like uh, IFP की फोटो गई थी मैसेज मी अर्जुन माथुर इज माई फेवरेट एक्टर इन इंडिया नो या एंड ही सेंड मी थ्री वॉइस नोट टूडे अबाउट यू क्योंकि अभी हम रसिका से भी बात कर रहे थे एंड लाइक शी वॉज सिंग द सेम थिंग हाउ मच शी एडमाइज यू वर्क एंड मैंने कहा कि अर्जुन से क्या पूछूँ एंड ध्रुव वॉज लाइक यार वे मतलब द वे वलरेबिलिटी इन्होंने डिपेक्ट की है पर्टिकुलरली गे मैन की वलरेबिलिटी वगैरह उन्होंने कहा कि इन जनरल इंडिया में एक्टर्स इतने कॉम्पिटेंट ही नहीं होते कि इस लेवल पे अपना स्किल सेट दिखा पाए सो लाइक बिग प्रेज मैन या सो नहीं कमिंग फ्रॉम एक्टर्स लाइक ये एक्टर्स ऑन एक्टर्स वाली जब चीज होती है ना मेरे को बहुत पसंद आता है इवन एन एक्टर सीज की यार ये चीज ये सही करता है या नो इट मीन्स अ लॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम हिम बिकॉज आई ऑल्सो आई मीन लिटिल थिंग्स वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ हिम Yeah. And I thought he was so good, you know. Yeah. Itna natural, both him and Mithila. Yeah. I think that show was a real breath of fresh air. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. very nice of him. I want to talk to you about your favorite actors. Like I did this episode with Gulshan Devaya, where he talked about this concept concept of rhythm breaking. Hmm. Ki ke actor ek line bol raha hai, line bol raha hai, aur ekdam se pause le lega. Hmm. Ya jaise Devishish Ma Khijan ne Nawazuddin Siddiqui ke baare mein bataya tha. Eye contact, eye contact. और वो कहीं और देख लेंगे लाइक द वे लाइफ इज राइट एंड इज लाइक द ग्रेटेस्ट एक्टर्स आर द वन हु कैन ब्रेक रिदम सो हु आर सम ऑफ दोज एक्टर्स जो आपको लगता है जो रिदम ब्रेकिंग बहुत अच्छे करते हैं मैंने ऐसे तो आई हैवन पेड अटेंशन लाइक दैट बट आई मीन बिकॉज दैट इज काइंड ऑफ एनालाइजिंग अ टेक्निकल थिंग अबाउट अ परफॉर्मेंस इन जनरल यू कैन आल्सो टेल मी अबाउट योर फेवरेट एक्टर्स या आई मीन आई जस्ट गो प्योरली ऑन फीलिंग मैन लाइक आई मीन Daniel Day Lewis, without a doubt. I mean, like right up there. Uh, that do you remember the climax from uh, There Will Be Blood? Yeah. That whole bowling alley scene. Like, I mean, I still shiver when I watch that. And, you know. And and that I abandoned my child scene from it. I abandoned yeah, my boy. Yeah, yeah. So my... just stuff like that, man. To me, like uh, if if it's given me some goosebumps or like really made me feel something, that's it. I've not paid too much attention to. what he did there and he is also big on method right yeah apparently yeah. so yeah. yeah who else who else i mean there's so many see again now growing up i actually uh, 
was just you know I, I was consuming only Hindi films and uh, um, so growing up I've been a huge fan of uh, Mr. Bachchan, Anil Kapoor, uh, Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, Amir Khan. I've been huge fan of all of them. I think or uh, I think I was about ten years old when I decided that I had to do this. Yeah. But at that time, I was less than so. Uh, I was a hero, yeah. you know. Uh, I think only after I moved to Bombay, I started working. I don't know what all it is that started affecting and changing my sensibility. But um, in fact, in the early days, when I was doing AD, people asked me, what kind of actor do you want to be? And I never understood the question. Because I was like, actor is a hero, right? Yeah. But uh, I don't know, I think I... Uh, as I just learned more of the craft, I think it just kept changing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you mentioned some of the names and suddenly when the mind came to luck by chance ka scene aaya, towards the end, hmm. where there is a cameo of Shah Rukh Khan. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And you are also in that scene. <laughs> and like, okay. And you know that your friend will get you with Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Se. yeah. And he like, and then he says, okay. Yeah. Don't forget those people who were with you when there was no one. Correct. Like, did you have interaction with Shah Rukh Khan there? I, uh, well, before that, I had done an ad with, uh, with, with him. I had done a, uh, a suiting ka ad kiya tha in Kansai? like... Belmont Suitings, if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there somewhere on YouTube. But, uh, so that was my first interaction with him. And then that day, um, uh, that one day on Luck by Chance. And then I was also in uh, My Name is Khan. So, uh, uh, yeah, I've been fortunate to be around him a bit. Uh, also very fortunate to have been around Mr. Amir Khan on two yes. films as an AD. Yeah. Um, you know, that was, this has been my education, to be honest, uh, to some degree. Um, I did college, gaya nahi, to my AD years were like my college years, you know, yeah. and all I was doing was observing the actors. That was my main thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that like thing you were telling me backstage, which is the final shot, yeah. and how is it associated with you? <laughs> Um, first, small piece of trivia uh, that Rangde Basanti ke, as I was also sharing, all uh, the rehearsals or readings oh, yes. the So yes. this kamre. Mein hue the. Yeah. So, this, so it's nice to be here. I don't think I've spent time in this room since back then in 2004, 2005, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, that, that particular moment, which is beautifully captured in a photograph, I don't know if audience must remember, there was a scene in the end when uh, present day Amir is, uh, he gets shot and then he sits under this tree and he looks to his left and uh, Bhagat Singh is there. So it's Amir and Amir in, in the same shot. So for the VFX of that shot, they needed a stand-in to sit there. I was clap-lap there, so I was sitting as a stand-in and that was a photo. And yeah, I'm really thankful for it because after... Made in Heaven season one, he posted that photo, man. Oh. Yeah, it was so amazing. He was like, good job, Arjun, lovely. Remember you from your AD days. I was like, whoa. Yeah, it was amazing. Which is your favorite Amir Khan film? Like, where you like his acting? Acting. I mean, the thing is, it's hard to say because so many films as a kid. I mean, Joji Ta Wohi Sikandar, yeah. Andaz Apna Apna. There's so many, and I think his evolution as an actor has just been so stupendous. You know, Dil Chata Hai, Lagan, he just like turned a corner completely, you know, and uh, since then, though, it's been like a different gear only, I think. Yeah. You know, but I mean, uh, usse bahut pehle I was getting affected by his work, so yeah, yeah. acting, but um, I guess that is that, that, that's great acting, right? If you're just yeah. getting affected so much. Yeah. Uh, I say, analyze karke maine itna socha nahi hai where his uh, performance has been the best. I can say that I didn't like Lal Singh Chadda very much. But you didn't like Lal yeah, Singh Chadda? Yeah, I didn't like uh, him in Lal Singh Chadda very much. Why? Um, I don't know. I didn't feel it. You know, I didn't analyze it. But that Aap was the feeling. Aapko usme nahi dekhi? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, felt like, I, I felt like I had uh, watched him perform like that before, is what I felt. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. trope bhi ban na, kabhi kabhi when he has these big eyes. Hmm. Ko lag hai, I don't know. Thoda overuse hua hai. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, but like he has these like big eyes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has these really piercing eyes, you know. Yeah. So he find if done right, like that is like the yeah, best thing ever. Yeah, yeah. And it's very hard, you know, if when when an actor, I guess, uh, when one when an actor becomes aware that what 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 you know what the strengths are, what his strengths are, um, then it can become tricky, I suppose, you know. At which point you just like cross over to overdoing it, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to know that Made in Heaven, mein one of my first favorite things like was your the relationship between your character and your mother's character and how she didn't accept. Ah, uh, aapko kaun si films pasand hai ya shows pasand hai where you saw this very piercing, st- stressful relationship between a father and a son or a father and a daughter. Just a Udanik film, hai, which mm-hmm. I think about a lot. Ki yeah. pe father wasn't accepting on the fact ki beta kya karta hai. Yeah. So, ऐसी मदर लाइक सन या फादर सन वाली स्टोरीज वेयर थिंग्स वर नॉट राइट बिटवीन देम एंड कुड नेवर गेट राइट बिटवीन देम देयर सो मेनी यार देयर सो मेनी और द वन दैट आई वाचड रिसेंटली वाज दिस फिल्म दैट शाया लबूफ हैज डायरेक्टेड व्हाट्स इट कॉल्ड हनी बॉय यस यस इट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल डेडली फिल्म यार एंड एंड शाया लबूफ प्लेड द रोल ऑफ हिज फादर इन दैट या एंड ही रोट दैट फिल्म इन रिहैब Yeah, you know, so that whole the whole concept, the whole coming together of that is pretty amazing to me. Uh, also, like so many, like I watched the father with uh, Anthony uh, Hopkins yes. recently, which also incidentally is a play which Mr. Nasiruddin Shah had performed. So I saw that play. Also, not only saw it, I was at one point in time rehearsing that play with him. I was cast in wow. it, and I spent about three to four months. uh rehearsing that play with him i was supposed to be in it and it was the first play that i was doing in many many years hmm. and um, aur main us saal thoda khali chal raha tha and i got a call from him saying madhur play karega I was like of course you know so and we started rehearsing and 3 4 months i spent with him like master class one on one rehearsals and all this is going on and then i got a call for made in heaven season 1 wow. so i couldn't finally do the play बट uh, उन्होंने मेरे को लिटरली आशीर्वाद देकर भेजा करने को हैव यू सीन द सोप्रानोस यू नो इंटरेस्टिंगली आई वॉचड इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस ईयर आई हैव जस्ट फिनिश्ड इट अ फ्यू वीक्स अगो हाउ डिड यू लाइक इट ब्लू माय माइंड एब्सोल्युटली इवन द वायर व्हिच आई ओनली वॉचड लास्ट ईयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दीस टू शोज इन पर्टिकुलर वर जस्ट पता नहीं क्यों वो बस रह गए एंड आई फाइनली वॉच दैम राइट नाउ एंड आई थिंक इवन नाउ ट्वेंटी ईयर्स लेटर इट्स जस्ट होल्डिंग अप सो स्ट्रॉन्ग यू नो जो एक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मदर और सन का रिलेशनशिप होता है वो सुपरानोज में बहुत अच्छा था वेयर या मतलब देर इज ऑलमोस्ट अ सीन वेर यू वॉन्ट्स टू किल हिज मदर या एंड बट देन शी गेट सिक शी इज ऑन अ बेड लाइक शी इज ऑलमोस्ट डाइंग या Or Tony Soprano ko lagta hai because of his past experiences that she is laughing. Yeah, yeah. While dying. Yeah. <laughs> how, how fucked up can it it's be? It's crazy. Like, this it's is crazy. That show is too much. It's too interesting. Yeah. Its climax be abhi tak is just haunting. We still don't know what happened yeah. in that last shot. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 India me aur kya aaya tha jahan pe hume aise relationships dekhne ko mile? Kya hai? Hmm. या आपको कोई ऐसे फादर या मदर जिनके पिकू वाज सो लवली यू नो या इट वाज सो वेल आई मीन इट कुड हैव बीन डिपिक्टेड इन एनी वे बट इट वाज सो हार्ट वार्मिंगली या ब्यूटीफुली डन यू नो उसमें भी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड रिलेशनशिप ही था बट बहुत सटलिटी के साथ दिखाया हो या या ब्यूटीफुली एंड आई थिंक दिस इज अ आई जस्ट थिंक दैट दिस इज अ रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट थीम या जनरली बिकॉज़ आई थिंक Uh, as we move on in life, we start realizing that everything about us is affected by that only. You know, our relationship with our parents at the end of it. So I find it very potent and very interesting. In fact, uh, even I have one or two ideas which are kind of hovering around the same themes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marlon Brando's a documentary thing where he said this line. Most of us are just trying to get over the bad emotional habits for, formed in the first ten years of life. Yeah, agreed. वो ही चल रहा है भाई तो दस. Absolutely agreed. मेरे रोज़ therapist के साथ यही बातें चलती हैं. Oh, yeah. you take therapy? I do. I yeah. also do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, on and off. Uh, first time was like ten, twelve years ago when I was going through something quite rough. 
and uh, again this year only i started again because i needed it i felt um yeah i have also realized the importance of taking therapy when you are happy people don't talk about it unhe lagta hai ki kuch bahut bura hi hona chahiye tabhi ja ke le lijiye yeah yeah i agree with you although i guess i'm also guilty of uh, approaching it only at a time when i was like uh, you know not doing the greatest yeah but um, yeah i absolutely think that when things are good is the right time to yeah, you know sign up for yeah it. yeah ओके okay, अब मूवीज पे एक बार वापस आते हैं जस्ट लाइक अगर अगर आपको किसी को बताना हो कि इफ यू वांट टू नो अर्जुन माचर दीज आर सम ऑफ द फिल्म्स व्हिच डिफाइन मी सम ऑफ द फिल्म्स यू कीप गोइंग बैक टू सम ऑफ योर फेवरेट्स तो ऐसे चार से पांच वो कौन सी फिल्म्स होंगी अम आई लव रिचर्ड लिंकलेटर एज अ डायरेक्टर या आई थिंक सम ऑफ द चलचित्र फैंस वुड नो कि मेरे को भी मतलब मैं तो एक टाइम पे ऑलमोस्ट yeah in okay. fact right from his his first film which is almost like a, it's a handicam student film called slacker Oof. like amazing i loved watching that only so much kuch nahi ho raha hai just people walking conversation meet someone camera starts following the next person and it's just the next person aur yeah. pura lo chal raha hai yeah. chain chal raha hai it's really amazing and um, and then his earlier animated uh, films waking life scanner darkly i was deeply fond of those films boyhood i think is one of my all time favorites like what the hell you know um uh jab koi aise baat karta na jo meri favorite like inspiration bhi hote to mere ko khosla khosla ka dialogue yaad aata hai ek din baithna hai sani sahab aapke sath yaar bhai baithta hai yaar ek din ye to yeah link later ke bare mein because i don't find a lot of people to talk about link later like that and particular log before sunrise sunset ki to baat yeah 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 of course but scanner darkly is waking life yeah. slacker yeah yeah bilkul to wo hai bilkul and i think i watched those films at a very a particular time in my life waking life in particular yeah because just the concepts and um, uh, what i was uh, experiencing at that point in my life was all like syncing very well yeah so mai aapko ek recommendation dena chahta hu youtube pe there is this video called the making of boyhood yeah, and sure. uh, okay. you should watch it 100%. because 12 saal ki usme ek 10 minute ki compilation hai wow. did you know ki jo usme jo lead actor hai uski uh-huh. jo badi behan ka role play kiya hai wo richard linklater ki daughter hai yes i did know that yeah, yeah. so aur wo usme bolti hai ki i don't understand wo abhi what 6 7 saal ki ladki hai she's like I don't like the kind of films my father makes. I slept in waking life. It was kind of boring. <laughs> and she's saying all of those things. Amazing. And, and she was damn good in the film. I remember. Gloria was, uh, Link later. Yeah, like, she was very yeah. good. And the the guy behind the camera asked them, "So what do you think you'll be doing after 12 years?" This is how the video ends. Or oh. a bache, and they are like, "No idea." And then you see the whole journey. Crazy. What a what a just what a thought. And what how do you even? Yeah. think of that and execute it and like it's out in the world it's just mind blowing which is your favorite movie from before trilogy sunrise sunset or midnight sunrise yeah yeah, yeah i think so yeah yeah it's hard to say but like definitely i think so yeah 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 mujhe lagta hai it also depends on the abhi aap life mein kis moment pe ho i suppose ki yeah ki relationship mein ho if you are in that yeah Yeah. novelty wala phase yeah so but correct but that, yeah but that film is like it's a nice phase only na it's just like uh, hope and it's nice yeah. yeah any other films you would want to mention jaise aapne link later ki film um i like uh, i uh, guy richie's earlier films i think lockstock and snatch are two of my favorites yeah. you know um huh, it's really hard to uh, then i think like david fincher like all most of his stuff yeah yeah, yeah. which is your favorite david fincher film so seven mere khayal se yaar nice yeah yeah yeah, yeah. seven hi thi no yeah seven hi thi ah, seven hi ah, thi yeah. yeah yeah i loved seven अभी किलर किलर आई नहीं है राइट लाइक किलर का आपने ट्रेलर देखा नहीं मैंने नहीं देखा है माइकल फास्ट बेंडर के साथ नो आई हैव नॉट सीन इट या 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 इस नेक्स्ट फिल्म इज आई थिंक कॉल्ड किलर और द किलर ओके ओके इट हैज माइकल फास्ट बेंडर इन इट वाओ वाओ आई लाइक हिम आल्सो ही इज वेरी गुड या या सो मैं मूवीज के आगे भी बढ़ सकता हूं व्हिच आर सम ऑफ योर फेवरेट टीवी शोज टीवी शोज यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशनड द वायर एंड सुप्रानोस उसके अलावा कोई आई डोंट नो टीवी हैज दिस बीन अ लॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप यार बिकॉज़ of course i come from the time of doordarshan and uh, hum log and buniyad 
and all this also. I yeah. was a kid when yeah. all that was happening. You know, I have stark memories of watching Fauji and Circus and Shah Rukh Khan TV yeah. and all this. Yeah. And uh, then coming up to Dekh Bhai Dekh and Zaban Samhal Ke, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then, then started coming in uh, Star TV and, you know, all the way. Kya kya nahi dekhte the, yaar. Sab, I was like, small wonder, ye wo. But I think, like, the real renaissance to started happening with um, shows like 24, Lost, yeah. Prison Break. Uh, Prison Break was the first show I ever watched. Right. My 9 10 standard. Mein tha. Yeah. I think my brother got a CD from somewhere. And the concept was binge watching. Yeah, yeah. 9 10 standard. Mein, like. And yeah, those shows suddenly changed everything. I think in in Hollywood at least, they started, those are the shows that started yeah. changing yeah. Uh, the actors' uh, approach towards television. And um, Heroes bhi tha ek. So yeah. these are the earliest ones. In fact, interestingly, I'll tell you that uh, Zoya and Reema and I like almost like became friends exchanging these shows, you know, like I used to download them, then come and deliver them to them. And so, wow. aise, uh, to, yeah. And then now, I don't know, you know, and these shows, of course, Wire, Sopranos and like Breaking Bad uh, and such, of course, there are the classics and some very good shows being constantly made. But right now, I also feel somewhere... I don't know, I'm feeling a bit of a saturation. Exhaustion has come. Yeah, you know, because there's just so much. And uh, I think like, like people are just making without actually, uh, like more important than what is being made, it's become more important to just keep making. Right. You know, so I think um, there is a bit of exhaustion. So We are all serving the algorithm. Yeah, you know, it's uh, so, I don't know. And, and, and you still watch everything. You still watch, uh, I like, I, you know, I last finished what? Only Murders in the Building ka new season I finished. Huh. Um, but I don't know. As these, as, with each repeating season only, I've been feeling that, mm, I don't know, you know, yeah. some maza is missing. But I know? think jab, like long form shows aate hai, so my friend told me about this theory ki, like, ye HBO ke kuch jaise shows hote, they are hmm. like whiskey. Hmm. We don't binge them. Now, hmm. like The Wire, hmm. I'm very late, I'm late to hmm. the party, but I'm currently watching it Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm okay. On <laughs> no, I was late to the party. I watched yeah. it last year, literally. So, I'm late to the party by 20 years, yeah. and I'm on season 3 right now. Okay. But I'm watching it so slowly, yeah. because it's whiskey. Hai wo. Yeah. Tha, like, you can't like sit yeah. one day and guzzle it all yeah. down, because yeah. then the experience would yeah. get over. Yeah. You need to give it at least 6 months or... I talk about it a lot, like the secret to happiness is always watching one good good HBO show at a time. Hmm, I think so. HBO is definitely the place I look at first also. Uh, I was very late to the Game of Thrones party also. I watched it in lockdown. But that party was five seasons ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But this House of the Dragon, I did enjoy. Oh, it's really good. I enjoyed it. I mean, I did it because I was impressed that the producers who put it on the table, let's greenlit this. Yeah. Because they delivered. Correct. After like those bad season, seven yeah. season. Eight. They went back to what was strong the about those. The essence of Game yeah. of Thrones, yeah. the politics of it. Correct, correct. और और मैं मेरे दोस्तों को बताता हूँ कि यार पता है House of the Dragon क्यों अच्छा क्योंकि उसमें मैं dragons के बीच में difference बता पा रहा था hmm. Game of Thrones में लगता था कि dragon है VFX right. उसमें मैं बता सकता हूँ okay you now know. I understand कि ये dragon इतना बड़ा है yeah. बेगार है तो ये इतना बड़ा है दूसरा इतना छोटा है Correct. you get the scales yeah absolutely so you absolutely. get to see dragons as characters and that is yeah. why it's House yeah. of the Dragon yeah it's amazing I really enjoyed it yeah, yeah, yeah. Any particular show from abhi recent times where you have seen in India that you have seen? Jubilee, I loved. Yeah. I loved Jubilee. Yeah. I, was, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know it was a slow burn, and, uh, but I think uh, it had, and also it had that, especially for people who work in film, so it's like, and it was just like mingling history yeah. and film and all this, and I thought it was really beautiful, beautiful performances. I'm a huge fan of Vikram, so, you know. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Abhi or Konsa, I've missed a few of the really good ones, apparently, which I, I need to catch up on. Uh, Kohra, I've not seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Abhi bhi ek, ek or koi yaad nahi but hai. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, guys, I called Arjun ko call kiya and like I said, ki we'll be doing this episode. So, we'll talk about it. I said, we'll do something. I've seen it in the format. Like, we'll take it easy. 
तो मैंने बताया ये तीन चार चीजों के बारे में बात करता हूँ तो बोले यार अपन ना वीडियो गेम्स पे कुछ कर सकते हैं मैं अभी स्पाइडरमैन टू खेल रहा हूँ अभी आई थिंक अभी रिलीज हुआ स्पाइडरमैन टू लाइक टू थ्री डेज हाउ इज इट अमेजिंग इट्स लाइक ट्रूली लाइक लॉर्ड ऑफ गेमर्स हेयर Guys, Spider-Man, PS5, कौन कौन खेलते हैं? गेमर वन गेमर गेमर जकी भाई हाथ ऊपर करो एनी वे आई एम एवरेड गेमर मैं मतलब आठ साल की उम्र से मैं वीडियो गेम्स में घुसा हुआ हूँ फ्रॉम द एट बिट जनरेशन समुराय होता था फिर सुपर निंटेंडो होता था फिर एवरी जनरेशन ऑफ प्ले स्टेशन एंड बट राइट ना बट राइट नाउ वॉट्स हैपनिंग इज रियली अमेजिंग एंड इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज लाइक and now i'm i'm more in, i'm only into in fact narrative games yeah they are pretty much their interactive movies series whatever you want to call it man because and except the thing here is that it's putting you in front and center of everything you know right you're not observing you're interacting you're like uh, you 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 are cause and effect you know yeah. so i think it's really amazing and games like the last of us or uncharted or uh, god of war Uh, जो स्टोरी वाली गेम्स है रेड डेड रिडेम्शन टू इफ यू एक्सपीरियंसड इट इज एन एक्सपीरियंस लाइक नन अदर रियली विच इज दैट गेम आई एम फॉरगेटिंग द नेम जहाँ वो कुरसावा मोड होता है हाँ गोस्ट ऑफ सुशीमा या 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 दैट्स ऑल्सो अगेन इट्स दीज आर जस्ट लाइक स्टोरी गेम्स द स्टोरीज आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपोर्टेंट देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इमोशनल कोर and uh, yeah gaming is just amazing right and now and some people also argue ki gaming has overtaken films or tv shows as a better storytelling medium yeah i mean the, some people to chodo as a fact it is it is making more money than films yes yes so there is something there obviously you know ah. um aur baat ye hai na that they are catering to us now ah. they are catering to Uh, you know the 30 40 year olds now jinke paas pehle jinko mummy papa se paise lene padte the to buy video Haan. games ab wo sab bade ho gaye so now they are really like uh, spoiling us you know <laughs> and do, do you like gta 5 yeah 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 of course so of i'll course. tell you how i play gta 5 yeah. main mere dost ke ghar jata hu yeah. main usko bolta hu mere ko 5 star rating karke de de wo fir police aayegi aur main bhagunga <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah after you experience the story of a game then you do all that only you know yeah you do your side missions exactly exactly yeah yeah but huh. aapne puri series follow ki thi gta vice city san andreas sorry 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 beech mein i think i missed uh, starting from gta 3 uh, yeah from gta 3 that was the one that was on playstation 2 i think and from there on and that was the first time that you were dropped in an open world yeah and you could do whatever you wanted you can climb that hill and jump off it you can just there wasn't a linear path that you had to follow yeah. so that was a all new thing and then each gta game that followed uh, other than i think gta 4 and gta san andreas beech mein thoda main drop ah. off ho gaya i think because games were also going through a transition you know suddenly yeah, from yeah. from 2d 3d and then in the middle they became very like everything looked like polygons yeah you know what i mean there was yeah. a very awkward graphical phase that yeah. they went through and but now that is uh, like this spiderman 2 for example you got to see graphically the advancements man it just blows my mind yeah. you know yeah and any other game nahi to iske alawa mere ko aapse kuch book music recommendation pe lena i mean games to these ones only i would recommend very highly and recommend very highly for the story Story. for the narrative god of war Haan. the one on playstation uh uh gta 5 the last of us part 1 part 2 uncharted uh, ghost of tsushima yeah. uh, spider man yeah. yeah yeah now let's talk about music aapka music ke sath kya rishta hai like like do you listen to it before like going for a shot yeah tell us about it i definitely use music uh, sometimes to for for a shot uh, for a scene rather yeah. uh depends particularly if it's an emotional scene yeah. then i then i use whatever i can to be honest because kuch pata nahi hota hai you know wo har time har bar nahi nikalta hai so um aapne uh, like i'm backtracking a little aapne succession dekha hai ha bilkul guys meko aisa nahi lagta agar aapko ki india mein agar succession banega to arjun can be a very good candle roy wow <laughs> that's amazing ha nahi abhi aapne bola na music sunte to wo bhi to pure time music sun sun ke <laughs> Yeah, but I do really admire him as an actor. Though. Method Jeremy actor Strong. again, right, method actor right. to a point where people are annoyed with him. Yeah, there was a very scathing uh, piece about him in the New Yorker once. Ah, but us, 
वो पता नहीं उसके बाद आई थिंक जिसने पीस लिखा था उसकी ज्यादा पी आर गंदी हो गया बट आई मीन आई पर्सनली आई एम ऑल फॉर हिज वे ऑफ वर्किंग मैन Yeah. Okay, fuck it. So and he delivers. Yeah. And he yeah. delivers. Exactly. That's all. That's all that counts at the end of it. If, if, I mean, as long as you can't like harass people and like yeah. make their lives. वो तो नहीं करते. Like I mean, Jared Leto, for example, what he was doing on the Joker. Jared Leto क्या करता था? मैंने कुछ सुना है बहुत खतरनाक. हाँ, वो he he apparently started sending his. Uh, Co-actors like dead rats and all this because while he was playing the Joker. कि भाई मैं थर्ड एक्टर हूँ तो मैं तुम्हें dead rats किया. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I won't make other people's life hell, but अपने आप तो मुझे जो whatever takes me there, man. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was something I was singing. So music, like some who are some of your favorite artists? Um, again, it's like been through it's been through several. versions right i think um, growing up to definitely hindi film music is what i knew other than what my parents used to listen to paul anka and all jagjit singh ha huh. you know and um, for me personally i think went through a, a hip hop phase in high school huh. 90s hip hop which is the only real hip hop i consider <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then um, then i got into psychedelic trance oh yeah and uh, there were many years of that and that was almost all i listened to wo jo 160 bpm 170 bpm that's a bit fast but Achha. like yeah you know 128 132 aisa somewhere in the middle you know oh. and uh, i also matlab ek mera bhi phase aaya tha jab main 3 4 saal psychedelic trance music yeah 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 bilkul bilkul rave music yeah and uh, So I went through that, and that definitely like attuned my ear because see, psych psych trance we both लोगों को बस noise लगता है. हाँ. But there is uh, there is a lot going on there, you know, yeah. which if you if your yes ear and uh, awareness is attuned, then you can catch it. And then that kind of um, sent me in a more uh, instrumental music direction, and I then veered into uh, post rock. Which yeah. is like a lot of Mogwai, Sigur Ros. I think Sigur Ros is my. Yeah. If I had to name an all-time favorite, then I, I would. Don't do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite. Hai, I would say. In fact, I'll share with you. I went in 2017. You have seen them live. Bhai, they did a, a festival that they organized in their hometown. My question, name is Hema. No, it was Nordur or Nidur. Ah, ah, ah. So it happened in 2017, New Year, around New Year's. I went, man. I was in Iceland for f- four, five days. I watched them four times in those four, five days. The How same show I watched four times. How was the experience? Life altering, absolutely life altering. Canon event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bilkul, bilkul, absolutely. Yeah. Zabardast. And um, so yeah, they are just like I've, uh, and they are so just cinematic and emotional. And please, if Uh, If you guys haven't heard Sigur Ros, guys, please ja kar suniyega Sigur Ros and all the albums, beginning to end, mostly. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. And a lot of people don't know they created their own language for it. Yeah, exactly. It's called Hope Landic. Hope Landic, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or, mera to bahut deep rista hai actually. In fact, when I was there, it was uh, around the twenty. Wohi uh, tha twenty seventh to thirty first December ke beech mein tha ye festival, and on the twenty eighth of December. Which is also my mother's birthday. Oh. They uh, called out on stage, Jonesy's sister, whose name is Sigur Ros. The band is named after her, oh. and it was her birthday on 28 December. Or me, wahan second row me khada tha, and they all sang Happy Birthday to his sister in Icelandic. And wahan par I was like, ye to kuch aur hi ho raha hai. Ye to kuch aur hi ho raha hai. Yeah, yeah. It was like that. Even serendipity word, Haan, I think, proper bahut, was bahut made for this. Yeah. And a lot of other post rock bands also from there. Sigur Ros sent me into a spiral of like a lot of post rock. Post- and the Iceland वालों को आता है थोड़ा. मतलब they are very good at this. Yeah, बिल्कुल, बिल्कुल. Yeah, amazing. Like इसके बारे में तो हम episode के बाद भी बात करने वाले हैं. So we have limited time, and I want to take more recommendations from you. Yeah. What about podcasts and books? Books, well, um, I don't read as much as I would like to. I've, I think isn't that all of us? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I mean, my bookshelves are like uh, uh, really, um, you know, my bookshelves are full yeah. at home. But uh, yeah, बचपन में तो I think Roald Dahl and like um, you know, I've consumed all of Roald Dahl for sure. Uh, but Sherlock Holmes पढ़ता था. Um, 
Michael Crichton. Yeah. Um, and then at some point in time, I went more towards, I read this book called The Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield. Okay. At some point, which was my, uh, which kind of, again, it was all happening around that same time, yeah. waking life and all this, thoda yeah. expansion chal raha tha. So, Celestine Prophecy is the first book that kind of uh, brought my awareness towards a world that operates on energy, you know. Huh. And that then sent me into that spiral a little bit. And um, books like <clears throat> uh, Food of the Gods by Terence McKenna. And uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of like expand, like mind expanding, wearing on uh, spirituality, that kind of books. And then now I find history more compelling than anything. Mm. I don't know. I, it's something that happened later in life. I used to hate history as a subject. Yeah. But now I find it but so I think fascinating. Non-fiction books and podcasts have made history interesting. Again. Yeah, no, I think also, like for me personally, it's just the, I think like when you see the state the world is in yeah. and then you want to, when you wonder how did we get here, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I think I find that interesting. How did yeah. we get here, you know? So yeah, some um, like, Indian history also, like uh, Indian Summer Thi by uh, uh, Alex Von Tunzelman and uh, The Anarchy by Salman Rushdie and, um, and even otherwise, there's this book called The Secret History of the World by Jonathan Black, which is like a alternate history of the world. It just like throws up questions on everything from the creation of the universe to... Wow to every event in, you know, yeah, it's like uh, considered like that kind of, the, you know, the knowledge that they don't want you to know. Oh. Yeah, it's a secret history of the world. And uh, um, another book called, uh, there's this, uh, The People's History of the United States by mm. Howard Zinn, mm. which is again like, yeah, you know, because these history books are like myth busters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like what we've been taught throughout our schooling lives and this, that was not any real history, to be honest. Wo to jo us time ka, jo aapko padhana chate te, wo padhaya logo ne. But I think you have to just like discover for yourself eventually. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we are very short on time, but like a few uh, podcast recommendations. Podcast. I, what I'm watching these days is, um, <laughs> I mean, Andrew Schultz I like. You know, you I like, like Andrew Schultz. I do. And Mere so team ke baad log khush ho jayenge. Unhe baat pasand hai. Haan. Wo aur wo to chodo. Mujhe ab apne local mil gaye hai. Koi there's a podcast called Untriggered. Untriggered. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just Amin very. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Very recently I discovered them. <laughs> I was fascinated, man. Yeah. So I and mean, I love the kind of guests he is getting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, abhi unhone unke saath. Urfi Javed aayi abhi. Urfi Javed aayi. Usse pehle wo jo Shahrukh ke pap uh, like wo competitor from Bazigar, Madan Chopra. Wo oh, baba Dilip Tahir kare. Dilip Tahir ke saath. Baba Segal was there. Baba Segal was there. And they don't even know who Baba Segal was. I was. They were. They were like. Yeah. That's what they are like. Uh, we didn't even know you who you were. We were at NH7 Weekender. Wahan par Baba Segal was performing. And then they got to know who's Baba Sehgal and invited him. Oh, you know? So I think they're I think they're cool, man. I think uh, they are India's answer to Andrew Shah. And they're so young and fearless. That fearlessness is the is, is the draw, I think, right now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Yeah. This was amazing, Arjun. Anything that I didn't talk about, but you would like to mention? No, yaar. Ye aapka hai show. Jo, whatever you want to ask me. Yeah. No, but this was amazing, and uh, I hope you had fun. Yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you. Very, very lovely. Hi everyone. This is Arjun Mathur, and please subscribe to Chalchitra Talks. Thank mm -hmm. you.